Hi guys, Rob 46 here, working yourselves back to TT Isle of Man Ride on the Edge 2 on the Xbox One X. We're going to be looking at free roam right now. So this is the map, which is uh, the Ireland map. And uh, you may have seen before when I was doing time trial that uh, you can section this map off and just do the circuits within. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go into the full map itself and see how it, uh, how it plays and everything. Um... I might use a super sport for this one, just because we've used a super bike already. Um, what should we go for? Um, I might go for a triumph actually. Um, yeah, we'll go for a triumph. We we'll use Peter Hickman again, I think. So I do like the the look of his triumph. Okay, so that's the Triumph there. Looking good. Okay, so. That's the bike. Let's go and see what the map is like with the free roam and see what we can actually do. Okay, so loading took forever. It literally took, I think, about 45 seconds to load the map. So we're in a little... Uh, a little gazebo okay oh we can do a acceleration challenge by looks of that not to uh, 124 miles an hour oh wow 11.3 seconds that's not that great we can try and beat that max speed 138 right i'll try and how off-road can we go oh i was gonna say how free roam is it but you can't go on the grass or anything because it just respawns you so okay so we've got the mini map down in the left hand corner oh oh where are we going where are we going there's no traffic or anything so we ain't got to worry about that hitting cars or anything because that would make it very very difficult Okay, getting a few bugs on our... Uh oh <laughs> Hit the dirt there. Yeah, we've got a few um, bugs on our screen. Okay, so there's the map. Okay, you can't actually zoom in or anything. Um, but I know where I want to go. There's like an airport around here, which is... Uh, I can't really point to it, but... I'm basically facing it. But we've got to do a little bit of riding to actually get to it. Okay, so you can't put any waypoints or anything. Um, there's a church there. So there seems to be a few landmarks around. That's a nice view. That's a nice view. You can see the beach and the sea. Okay, wow. I need to get a thumbnail, so uh, I think I'll stop here and uh, quickly capture a thumbnail. I might have to go into third person for that, though, I think. Okay, let's switch. Ah, there's the airport below us. So that's where we need to get to. And there's a, uh, a bird flying as well, okay. Got some wind turbines off in the distance as well. Right, so yeah, the airport, that is where we need to go. It's on our left, but we can't get there without obviously taking a direct route. We can't go across the grass and down the hill. Oh, oh, nearly went on the grass. So still getting used to the handling of the game. Uh oh, oh. checking the mini map to see where the uh, the road is actually going as well as obviously looking where I'm going so we're nearly there now there is um, a challenge arena in career mode which is this map and there is like uh, challenges you can go to um, there's like uh, a pursuit you can do um, 
top speed you can do and stuff like that. I haven't got the brakes on quick enough. <laughs> Straight into the wall. Yeah, so there are some actual challenges you can do in career mode in the challenge arena, which is this same map. But coming into free roam mode, there isn't actually anything really to do apart from free roam as well. And I have double checked uh, the online multiplayer. And there doesn't seem to be a free roam option. Um, whether that will change when the game is out, whether there's going to be a day one update. So I'm just going to try and do this uh, acceleration thing. Try and get a quicker time. There we go, 8.2 seconds. Yeah, so multiplayer, it doesn't seem at the moment, I'm playing this game before release, it doesn't seem there is a multiplayer option for this mode. They might bring it in later on. Um, but if they don't, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, if they don't, it's definitely going to be a missed opportunity because it would be a lot of fun to, to you know, cruise around with your friends and stuff and set up your own races and drag races and stuff around here. Um, you can come to, obviously in multiplayer, you can come to the individual tracks within this map. But obviously, the whole map is going to be... Um, blocked off it will just be the track that's available so yeah it's a shame there isn't like more things to do in the actual free roam mode itself like a bit like the the uh, challenge arena in um, in career mode because that's uh, in career mode that's where you can unlock liveries and uh, different parts for your bikes and stuff um, but we will get to that in career mode and obviously I'll show you guys what it's like in career mode at some point. Um, but yeah, as it is, it's uh, it's literally just a map. It's just you and the bike. You can do some small challenges that will occasionally pop up. There doesn't seem to be any way of actually seeing what all of them are. Um, but yeah, it seems like... Maybe a little bit of a missed opportunity. I guess it's just... Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, we've respawned anyway. Seems like it's just obviously like a little playground for you to just... Obviously get better at the game and uh, try out different things if you want without obviously costing you a race or anything. So... You know, it, it's kind of cool that they've included it. But I would have liked to have seen like, more things actually in it. Like I said, I am playing this before release, so I don't know if things are going to be added, obviously, um, post-release. But we'll have to wait and see from that. But yeah, this is the the map. Um, I'm going to try and get back to my little gazebo. And then we'll park up in there and uh, call it a day. But we've got to get there. Um, I'll tell you what would be really handy... There doesn't seem to be a way of putting up any waypoints or anything on the map. That would be super handy for trying to get somewhere. Um, otherwise, you just have to keep pausing the game and uh, looking at the map yourself. So just have a little bit more of an explore and then we will head back to the, uh, the garage. New top speed, 158. Okay, so we're coming into like a little villagey section now. Another church. Okay, so I ain't got to worry about traffic or pedestrians or anything. got quite a way to go we're on the other side of the map so yeah there isn't a way of uh, doing a waypoint which is a little bit annoying especially if you want to get to somewhere specific you will literally have to just keep pausing the game to see where you are um, unless you learn the whole map off by heart but that's going to take a long time to do 
So yeah, we need to carry on on this road. Keep on going. New distance travelled. A lake on the left. I'll tell you what. Do you reckon we can go in there? Do you reckon we can go in the lake? I mean, we can't go uh, on the grass. So I thought we'd be allowed in the lake. Oh, we're down. Hit the dirt. Oh. Let's try and go in the lake. Come on. Ah, oh, it respawns you before you get to it. <laughs> That's a shame. Okay, so... Oh, in the dirt again. Oh! Anti-wheelie's still off. So, which way do we need to go? Okay, well, we can go either way really, but we'll go right. Oh! Oh! That was lucky. Pulled a wheelie whilst uh, leaning and uh, almost lost it there. So that's the thing, like, all the roads that I'm going on are just I'm learning them. That's down, yeah. <laughs> just fell to uh, to turn there. Um, yeah, we are going the right way, that's fine. Okay, so we will try and find the uh, little gazebo. Yeah, this is the the free roam. It, it would like, like I said, it would be nice if there was like more things to do rather than just see ride around. But like I said, in career mode, the challenge arena is this whole map, and there is more things to do. Um, this is literally just the free roam option from the menus. So uh, yeah, this is just what it is. Guess it is good if you just want to mess about or just try and learn some of the circuits but like I said it would be nice to uh, maybe pull up somewhere and then you can select the circuit that you're currently on and then it will close off the other roads that would be pretty good but then if you want to learn individual circuits you're just going to time trial and uh, choose them from the menu right where is my gazebo Okay, we should currently be in line with it, apparently. Maybe we've gone past it. Where is it? Is it on the left or the right? There's a monument there. How far up to the monument can we go? Let's try and find out. Oh, you can get relatively close. Um, gazebo, hello, caravan. Where? Ah, there it is. Pass it there. Right, found it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we're in. <laughs> we're just about, I'll tell you what, can we get up on the bench? Can we go up on there? Can I get out? Hello? scratching the bike as we go out. Right, I want to try and get up on the bench. Is that ramp going to allow me to get up there? Not at that angle, it won't. Of course it won't. Not at that angle. Alright, let's try and line it up. Let's try and line it up. Give it a bit of a run up as well. And... Oh, it doesn't let you up. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to leave this video here. So that is a look at free roam in TT Alaman Ride on the Edge 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys next video. See you.